and welcome back to the Fred Jackson Show. As I said at the top of the show, if you just tuned in, Fred Jackson is out of town tonight, but we have with us on the show right now, wide receiver Robert Woods from the Buffalo Bills. That's a lot. I tell you, the, the, the fans are just so excited. That win was so huge yesterday. First of all, Robert, for you, what's it been like the last 24 hours? Uh, it's, been, it's been great, you know, got a win, um, victory Monday. Uh, but we just keep winning, you know, right now, uh, putting ourselves in a good position to get to the playoffs and um, just got to finish out the season uh, with two more wins. What was it like that last five minutes of the game? I mean, you knew that, the, you know, you knew once if the ball went back into Aaron Rodgers' hands, anything could happen. Tell me about those last couple of minutes of the game. What was going through your mind? Right. Some games uh, with some quarterbacks, you know, you, you don't want them to have the ball at the end of the game. Aaron Rodgers, one of them. Uh, you know, we were up, but it's always, it's always nerve-wracking when and a quarterback like that uh, can get the ball. But uh, defense held out, uh, onside kick uh, to finish up the game, and, uh, you know, big win. Yesterday was reminiscent of some other, especially home games, where you were able to really move the ball between the 20s. Once you got down there near the red zone, you settled for field goals, but luckily the defense was playing well. So you've got two games left. What do you guys have to do offensively to, to, to put more points on the board? Uh, exactly what you said. We need to finish up in the red zone. You know, we always get down there. Uh, I mean, get down there all year, but always end up with some field goals at times. But, um, you know, I think if we, if we end up getting six and scoring touchdowns, I think we're a great team because our defense is playing lights out every, every single game. Now you're traveling out west. Uh, you played out west. This is not, nothing new to you. Right. Uh, I mean, it will be something new, you know, playing, playing Oakland uh, in the black hole. Um, road game. Very fun. Very interesting game. Um, must win. Must win game. Fred's not here tonight. I know that was a very big win for Fred because Fred's been on this team. He's struggled through some tough seasons. This is only your second year. So, you know, being, still having viable games left in December, is it new to you? Yeah, it is new. Um, just looking at last year, um, it was rough. You know, we lost a lot of games. Um, what, what, six and ten. Uh, you know, that, that's failing, failing great right now. But um, right now we're just winning. Um, you no know, records on the winning side, and just got to finish up and continue it and um, get to the playoffs, get Buffalo to the playoffs. Okay, let's see if Brad Galbert's got some questions from Twitter. So what do we got, Brad? Yep, uh, the first one is from Jean, and she wants to know, Robert, uh, who inspired you the most in your personal and your professional life? Uh, my father. Uh, my dad um, pretty much got me started on, on, on football at the age of was six years old. And um, really been playing football ever since then, and uh, end up you know growing up and loving the game. Uh, play football, ran track, baseball, but um, you know football was just the one I stuck with. Okay, uh, the next one is from Mark, and he wants to know, Robert, how have you made such great strides from your rookie year till now, and do you feel the chemistry with Orton? Yeah, definitely feel the chemistry with Orton. You know, he he's coming uh, mid-season, but uh, you know he he's been winning games for us, and as you know, a second-year receiver um, now is just, you know, being comfortable, understanding, um, you know, coverages, understanding what Hackett expects from me, the quarterback expects from me, and it allows me to just play comfortable, play my game, and um, it just, it's starting to come natural now. Uh, the next one's from Lenny, and he wants to know, with the team looking uh, like it's ready to win now, what positions would you like to see improve next year? Um... I think, I think we just have to, the players that we have, I think we're, they're great. And I think we just have to execute, um, fix those things that we, we lack in this year, third downs, red zone. Um, and I, I think that we'll, we'll have a great team and uh, just keep the defense how it is. You know, they're playing pretty well. One more, Brad. All right, uh, the last one's from Justine, and she wants to know, what are some key plays uh, that the offense has to do to be able to score some touchdowns in the next two upcoming games? I, I, think, I think every game is, is different. I think, um, you know, going against this Oakland team right now, I think uh, it's, it's going to be, you know, great weather. I think we should just attack on every aspect of the game, in the air, on the ground. Um, like I said, defense, you know, do what they do. And uh, versus the Patriots, I think uh, we're going to have to bring our, 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 our running game. You know, it's a road game. Um, you got to bring your defense and your, and your run game. You know, it opens up everything. And I think me, Sammy, and Chris Hogan, uh, even Chandler, um, 
we, we just got to handle our business outside, and I think that, that finishes up the year. Okay, we're going to take a break. Aaron Williams is in the house. He'll be joining us right after this on the Fred Jackson Show.